He say, she say, we say, I say, hearing out them points of views when I see it my way. Yes it goes, yes it knows, maybe so's, probably not, shills and coulds, do's and don'ts, your woods and wants is how you rock, politicians and religions, on your house or are you ready? Is you married? Is you single? Met an interest when you mingle? Turn out to be someone you into. So how long before the bed get wrinkled? Bring the children when they trippin'. Is it time out or do you whip them? Opinions and decisions, hunches, intuitions. May or may not get it. Cause people's experience different. Check the prejudice, set the dope. Speak the time you give the flow. Tell the truth if it's sweet or sour. Cause the hour we spittin' that fire. fire. Woo we what's up y'all You know what My daughter was like You should go You should go uh live I said I, 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 I was like I don't know I don't know You know what I'm saying I, I, I just said I didn't know You know what I'm saying Y'all ain't seen me on camera in about two weeks. Look at my eyebrows. I'm not scared to find one. You need to get your shit together, girl. I'm telling you. This lipstick was just way too bright. Mm, well, whatever, honey. If, if you spitting fire, you got to show the lips off. This lips got to stand alone, y'all. Your lips got to stand alone. Ooh, it's been a little. It was nice today, but it's now getting a little nippy and everything. Now, we got to talk about some stuff. Now, we, we going to definitely talk about some stuff here on, on the Spitting Fire channel. We're going to talk about some stuff today, okay? You finally caught a live. Yes, honey, I'm trying to tell y'all I'm finally back to be on live. I tell you the truth. I'm finally back to be on live. Tell me if you can hear me because they're going to be like, I can't hear you by one speaker. Sometimes I really do think it's y'all shit. Like, I really do think it's y'all shit because when I play my videos back, I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it on my phones. I can hear it on this. I can hear it on that. I I, I can hear it. Welcome to Spitting Fire. We're going to be talking about some stuff here on the Spitting Fire channel. Now, we talk about Jay-Z. We talk about Jay-Z and, and, and that Oscars and what we really think going on. And don't forget to know that I'm going to show y'all some stuff, right? I, I got to shoot up there and show y'all some stuff because I'm going to sit up there and be promoting this when it's ready. It's going to be coming out real soon. We, I'm still working on it. Okay. I am still working on it and I want to sit up there and show you guys this. All right. So we're going to sit up there and put me down. All right. And, and we're going to definitely show, uh, what's to come and what I'm working on. All right. Cause this going to be the first breakdown in 20, uh, 24. All right. So let, let's get this. Okay. Get me up off of here and let's get this and let's see what's going to be happening. This is still the beginning of 2024, and I tell you the truth, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. It is back, and it seems like it has not been that long, but it has been close to two years on the channel of Spit and Fire. But first, what I tell you, we're going to be talking about this Megan Thee Stallion. We're going to be talking about the Nicki Minaj and all the things that is going on. What is the root and the truth behind these two women beef? And what machines are behind them? And why does it seem like they're turning against the queen of rap? It seems like ever since the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez case, a lot of things had took a turn for the worse, okay, pertaining to Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Now, we know Megan Thee Stallion have worked with some of the oppositions towards Nicki Minaj, and what is that, okay? Now, Tory Lanez has been convicted of 10 years in prison for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Many say that there was no even no scars on the foot and there was no bullet fragments what is going on with our legal system and how is it impacting today's celebrity black men and in the lyrics of Megan Thee Stallion she said something about dancing and making R. Kelly go viral well what would be wrong with that considering many of you followed his pathway and then there's someone else on these internet streets who have a whole lot to do behind that. And her name is, you know what, the queen of YouTube. And we're going to be taking all this down because we're going to be going from the queen of YouTube to the queen bee herself. 
And other than that, we're going to be talking about her husband and Tory Lanez and everything else in between. This will be the first of 2024 in almost two years, the breakdown of Rock Nation. Okay, so you see that, right? We, we we got that going on and everything else, right? You see that? Okay, so the breakdown is coming real soon, all right? And we're going to be talking about it. It's going to be the first breakdown that has been on the channel Spitting Fire in almost two years. It has not seemed like it's been that long since I did a breakdown on this particular channel. Now, on the mid, maybe, but on this particular channel, it has been almost two full years since I've done a breakdown. This will be the first one I've done in 2024. I'm still working on it and everything else. And I, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to cover the, I can't cover everything in it, but I can cover, I think I'm covering the real root of, of, of a lot of stuff and pertaining in that, you know what I'm saying? Rock nation and some other things and stuff. And, and thanks to people who are sending me things and I appreciate it so very much. All right. Now, as we sat up there and talked about that and, and that's coming or whatever, uh, Jay-Z uh, found himself in a situation again. All right. And, and I may just go ahead and throw that into the uh, breakdown in itself when it pertains to M.I.A. OK, she's a rapper and she's saying that uh, Rock Nation won't help her get her child back. They gave her child the jab without her permission and all this. And, that. and I don't understand why women think that these people are supposed to help them in custody battles. Like, I don't understand. I, but, but, but I do kind of get it because when you don't do what they want you to do, they insert themselves in your business or like her getting pregnant by a billionaire. All right. Now, if you don't know, she got pregnant by a billionaire and I'm thinking that that billionaire is uh, tied to some uh, vodka or liquor company, all right? Now, what I find interesting, and, and here's here's what I'm going to tell y'all, all right? What I'm finding interesting in that is the, MI, the MIA situation, and, and let me bring her up so you guys know who I'm talking about, okay? So you can guys, because I know you guys uh, heard uh, what's been going on, all right? Uh, she's a, a, a rapper, okay, um, from the... British colony, okay, and uh, she's not here from the U.S., okay, but she didn't work some things with uh, Rock Nation and stuff like that, and then she has some affiliates or a baby by one of the billionaires, okay, and 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 she rapped about you know having a baby with a billionaire and and and, and with all the lyrics, and we're gonna be talking about all that too, okay, and I just find like 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 what is going on now. I must, I, I, I have to say, I may stand corrected, okay? I may stand corrected with you guys. Because if you don't remember, a few uh, years ago, let me put her up here so y'all know who I'm talking about. Because some of y'all old folk like me, y'all AARP members don't be knowing what the hell going on. You know, we got to put y'all up on game. Put y'all up on game. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all only know about these rappers because of us, the bloggers, all right? So this is MIA, okay, you know, whatever, and stuff like that. And she's saying that she don't have custody of her son. She won't custody of her son. She's been in this battle with him. I don't understand how do you think that you were going to sit up there and uh, win custody. He got all the money, like all the money. See, this is what I've always been telling you women about. Y'all sit up here and y'all want these billionaires and y'all had these babies by these billionaires and you think that because you lay down with this billionaire and pop out this baby, you're going to be set for life. Sometimes they have shit set up in place so you won't take their riches. And if a smart one, if he a smart one, he would. And exactly, that's what he did. Like you, the thing that he could be paying you big about, he got custody of. So you just out there like just a, a baby mama to a billionaire and you ain't got really no ends. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand why is it is. But then y'all play victim. No, you shouldn't have played victim. You're laying up with a billionaire. You should have been getting the money while you get, get while you while you getting the goodies. Like, you know, chance slim to none that billionaires is gonna marry you or have a baby by you out of love. Sometimes they had these babies because they need something to pass their legacy and they wealth down. 
that's why they had these babies. And and you fit the criteria. You pretty. I want to I want to spawn with you. Okay. Now, what I don't understand is when you would land down with them, why didn't you was getting the money? You ain't got to get billions. You ain't got to get millions. But if you're getting thousands of dollars instead of buying them bags and buying them jewelry and buying all this and that, you should have been setting yourself up. That's one thing I do is respect about Shiny O'Neal. Shiny O'Neal set her ass up. She set her shit together. She got her stuff together. She got the connect. She wasn't just laying down with uh Shaq. She was getting connects. That's exactly how she was able to put basketball ball wives together. Now, Y'all should have took notes on that while y'all sitting up there laying down on your back. You could be laying down with all these goddamn rich men and you don't have no damn money. Like, how you do that? Like, girl, bye. And then you play victim. We ain't thinking about you, MIA. We ain't thinking about you. But we going to definitely bring you up in a Rock Nation situation. We definitely going to bring you up in that because you is critical to that. Now, what I find to be interesting in this Rock Nation and everything else, and this just think of this as like a little bit of preview to it, right? One of the things I think when it comes to Rock Nation and Jay-Z and stuff like this, Jay-Z, your name is coming up. Let me see. Your name is coming up in a lot of shit lately. And the reason why I said a few moments ago, I may stand corrected, I was doing a live stream not too long ago maybe a few months back and it was when p diddy was being brought to surface it was his turn right and i was saying who do y'all think will be next i was thinking it was dr dre now what is the odds dr dre and jay-z was at the awards and he giving him an award and they shouting each other out bro you know they having this bromance and stuff in front of the camera y'all think that about so i think and then beyonce you ain't up there by your man your daughter is i'm just keeping it a buck y'all don't get mad at me i'm just keeping it a buck what's up what's up what's up i'm just keeping it a buck okay i don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on. Thank y'all for coming in. Make sure y'all hit that like button coming on in. Y'all ain't been hitting them like buttons when y'all enter in the house. Make sure y'all give your girl some likes, okay? I ain't even got the count up there. I know people be liking to see the count. I'll figure that out. All right. But anywho, Jay-Z, I don't know. So is it, was it strategically done when right after Diddy got exposed, Jay-Z had this mass museum? in new york with gail doing an interview that shit is strategically done because i think shit finna hit the fan with his ass shit finna hit the fan with his ass oh i think so and then sandra said it she you you did you were one of the ones that did say jay-z and i said that's why i said i stand corrected i i thought it would have been J uh dr dre I thought it would have been Dr. Dre. I really did think that Dr. Dre would have been one of the, 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 the best Me Too candidates. But it's Jay-Z. I think they're coming after Jay-Z. And I think he knows it. Because they know these things. Because, well, there, there's a question about Tierra and Marie. Right? And love and hip-hop Tierra and Marie. And remember, Tierra and Marie was supposed to be the next big artist. And they end up rerouting one with Rihanna. Okay? And they were saying, one of the people that was going to come out to expose somebody, they were saying it was going to be, people were saying it was Diddy. But then people were saying it was Sean Combs. And it was Sean Carter. I don't know, but I think Tierra Marie is going to be, a, she's going to play victim. And I think she, cause see, remember Tierra Marie owes 50 cents of money. That would be a real strategic move. If she sued one of the, the, the Shans, rather it's Diddy or Jay-Z. And then she will be able to pay Curtis, which is 50. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be some interesting shit. You know what I mean? And, and and is it the reason why Beyonce went on stage with him? 
Like when they kissed, he was looking away. Why you not in the kiss with your wife as you were kissing? Y'all know something hit the fan. Mm. How they gonna make it away? You think they gonna they making it go away right now? I'm sure they making it go away right now. I'm sure they're gonna pay. If if it's Tierra Marie, they're gonna pay her enough money to shut it up so she it won't even hit the media. I'm telling you, they're gonna give her millions of dollars so it won't even hit the media. It should hit the media. It should. Because, ja Jay-Z, you behind a lot of dirty shit. You behind a lot of dirty shit. And the fact that, well, we just going to have to see about Rock Nation, the, the breakdown of that. But your ass, I ain't going to hold no bars, okay? I, I'm, I'm going to let it out. I'm going to let it out. But I think Beyonce no too. I do. You got to get ahead of that. They got ears to the street. They got people. She's what? She's finna name us. Because all you need to do is accusations. Beyonce can't come out and say, she just said two years ago, I'm, 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 I'm not working with me too people. Or are they doing me too checks. I said that in that when I did a live stream a couple of years ago when she did that. That might be your own damn husband. That might be your own husband. Now, now, it's been said allegedly. This can't be confirmed by the channel of Spitting Fire. But it has been said that Foxy, if I was Foxy, I, why not? You know, there was there, it's been rumors for years that Foxy and Jay-Z were together. It's been rumors for years. And why is Jay-Z not trying to take a blood test with that boy? It has been rumors that the boy's mother is deceased. But if that is Jay-Z's son, the girl is supposed to have been underage at the time and he was grown. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, Beyonce would divorce him first. She would divorce him. He probably would give his riches to her, you know, to stop others from getting it. You know what I mean? He probably would try to work out something. He would have to. He would have to. But does he have the stamp of Oprah and Gail? Like, Gail loved Jay-Z and Beyonce. Like, Oprah and Gail loves them. The powers that be that loves them. What are they willing to do? Now, we know that Jay-Z, well, we really strongly speculate that Jay-Z is behind the Tory Lanez and the R. Kelly, right, situation. Because it doesn't make sense. On If people say, oh, he's a pedophile. Like, I dropped a short not too long ago. I think yesterday. Was it yesterday I dropped that short? I dropped a short or I scheduled it. I did it a while ago, but I just scheduled it for today I think it dropped and someone was like a pedophile and, and and I'm thinking people and then you could tell they felt out of place when they said what they were saying because they looking at everybody else in the chat I love that like I love when people is out of place in their comments you know what I mean? They're out of place in their comments. And the oppositions, of course, they don't like the channel spitting fire. So anybody that's saying something opposite in my chat, they like it. You know what I mean? And I'm cool with that. I left it up. Mm -mm, I ain't taking it down. You entitled to your opinion, but you going you 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 the guy gag. You know what I'm saying? The go along, get along gang. I just showed you two images of two young women who's the same person, one it's the same age dressing and totally trying to be underage you know and i think i'm gonna drop another short like in this r kelly case these girls are extremely trying to be younger than what they are just so they can get money and then these young women were not believed in trial and still awarded millions of dollars this is our legal system like until he get out of there until others get in there i think a lot of attorneys 
are going the the I think a lot of people are going to take their things to the Supreme Court. See, right now the Supreme Court is weakened. You know, with you know a leader like Biden. You know, and I'm a registered Democrat, so don't come at me. But this leadership under Democratic policies is not what we signed up for. And I got people who are black, right? Who are strong Democrats that is not liking this these new Democratic policies because they done been through the blacks away. They had your support for millions of years and now they don't need it because they got a whole nother community to support them. Because them folks got rights now. So they don't need your black ass, right? And people just now figuring it out. And black people gonna get a strong wake-up call. Oh, they're going to get a strong work. What they're going to do is go back to their roots. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go back to their roots. Because people talk about MLK. They talk about, they quote, um, you know, Malcolm X. They can, they quote all these greats, right? But what they do? They don't realize that they were Republicans. You know what I mean? All your, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't know. But I do know that Jay-Z, okay, is, is somebody that, uh, they they thinking about coming after, but he got too much heavy hitters behind him. And 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 the lawyers know who to come at, cause sometimes they got enough money that even if you get a lawyer to sue Jay Z, they come behind your back and give your lawyers money and your lawyers a, a work out a deal to tell you to drop the case or settle for a fraction of what they got paid. That's how they do shit. Ooh, that's some dirty ass damn attorneys. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Now, what I want to say, but yeah, Chandra, Chandra, you did say that they were coming at the Jay-Z next. I'm thinking, what is going on? Something, it just, you know, when you watch the Grammys the other day, it's just the energy between Beyonce, the energy between Beyonce and Jay-Z wasn't right. It just wasn't right. The kids, he seemed nervous. He said, I'm nervous. I tell the truth. He seemed nervous. It's like he got like, you may be the next to be hit with a me too. See what I'm saying? Like this is what I love because, and why I say that is because P Diddy, right? And all the rest of them thought they were untouchable. Even probably Dr. Dre ass, right? Till you get these claims, especially if you have been intimate with that woman that's making these claims right and she can pinpoint too much stuff even to even if it's a settlement and you're saying well it was consensual but the public don't care propaganda people like drama they like to see y'all fall i told y'all this is the hunger games the Hunger Games, the original Hunger Games, people didn't care about policy. There was no more government policies. The government overthrown the people and made the people puppets and they was watching them kill each other for excitement. Same what's going on here. Taking down your black men for excitement and the, and the people online so caught up in clicks and views, the high of that, overshadowed everything like people literally lost their integrity over clicks and views right so yeah this the hunger games you know what i'm saying it used to be a time before the internet people would protest when it was injustice now people don't care they eating their popcorn and they watching and it's good conversation and and your life going down the drain and people just watching you you know what i'm saying them take your life slowly like they did r kelly you know, take your freedom and they eating popcorn and they just watching it and it's entertainment and nobody stood up and said nothing to say this injustice. Nobody said anything. Nobody did anything about it. Nobody did nothing. I think the last time of the protest was Trayvon Martin and I got that coming soon too. Oh yeah, I got some things coming here or whatever. So it's a lot of shit that's happening, right? It's a lot of shit that's happening. And they got a they got a hold on media, especially this channel. This channel, they like, we don't like this channel. <laughs> they don't like this channel because this channel ain't go along, get along. This channel is speaking up for what's what. You know what I'm saying? None of that. You know what I'm saying? They they, they just want to see a man fall. Now, if you notice, 
a man who accused of these me too's get five more damn sentence than the women if the women get sentenced at all yeah and and then the people the women out here because it's like 15 women to one man so the women out here like so we can be the same as the men we can victimize y'all we can do all kind of shit it ain't nothing gonna happen to us because we women and the women and the men like well shit now the men are vulnerable and the men can't take up for the women so what they do they become their peons right it, it's just what it is all right it is what it is kk uh k lorraine it is what it is right in this situation it is what it is but we're gonna be doing that breakdown with rock nation okay we're gonna definitely do that i'm trying to decide if i'm going to do a live or if i'm going to do a video i don't know i don't know because i know it's gonna be lengthy i don't know if i should do it in sections or whatever but I'm definitely still putting the pieces together, editing, ed, you know, including, deleting, whatever. It, it, it's, it's, it's still being worked on. But it's coming soon, and I want y'all to know, because a lot of people touch and go. But these are things we need to know what's going on. Like, we need to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really need to know. And we're going to apply common sense with the stuff. We are not going to sit up there and be believing all women. No, you know, spin fire, don't do that. And we're not going to sit up there and just saying, you right, you know, we're going to protect these men because we don't know what they've really been doing. Look how they just did um, R. Kelly and, and Tory Lanez and stuff like that. Like, only in America you can be sentenced to 10 years in prison and everybody has a question about somebody's feet being shot. Like, how is that? I, I don't know. People come on my head, he did shoot her. Then some other people come on my channel, he ain't shoot her, it wasn't no scar. Why is it a question if it's a scar not on your foot and if you were shot or not? Then they say, well, it, it was glass fragments. Then they say, I don't know, child. I ain't never known it to be so hard to believe somebody being shot. But it's so easy to pinpoint a black man to say he did it when you got somebody saying he did it. And then people coming out afterwards saying, no, that was a lie. And then Megan Thee Stallion came out and, and, and put out his and came out after everybody. And then came out after her ex-girlfriend who supposedly had changed her mind or said, made some, some controversial statements after the trial. I'm like, do y'all know how serious playing with the legal system is? Like you guys, but the, the law don't care because as long as they locked up a celebrity or a rapper, they love it. They don't care if he's innocent. They love it. That's the problem. That's a problem. That's a problem why my channel gets shadow banned because I be talking about the government. You know, like I talk about the government in a way to where how they take our tax money and use things against us and, and stuff like that. Like they don't like that. And so they, they, they shadow, they restrict things from getting out. They do do that. They do that. That's why I need you guys to share my videos more than any and everything because they restrict this. Because I be talking a lot of controversial stuff. I talk about the government. I talk about men's rights. I talk about all these type of things, the innocent project. They don't like stuff like that. Now, if I was one of the women's lib and I was talking about women are right and men are wrong, my channel would have blew up and grew. It would. It would have definitely. But I refuse to give them black men. God created them for a reason, so we got to trust that if we really trust in him. Now, we're going to be talking about that rock nation. And, 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 and Jay-Z, you got too much money to be wearing your hair like that, okay? I know y'all got this weird looking stuff and all that kind of stuff. Boy, I'm going to need you to cut that shit off. All right? Cut that shit off because when you go to... I bet you you cut that shit off when you, if, if you be brought up on some Me Too and you go to court, you be cutting that shit off. I'm just keeping it up. I'm just keeping it a buck. Okay? You, I'm just keeping it, keeping it a buck. You know what I'm saying? These men out here, they just really need to put in this cash. Like, y'all need to go get y'all money. Like, literally, y'all need to go get y'all money. But here's the thing. If a man right now starts something, he got to really be careful. Yeah, because the MIA, there's a thing called CIA, and those people there, they make people disappear, okay? Especially when you sitting up there uh, exposing 
uh, the gimmicks in the media and stuff like that. Like the media is, ooh, I tell you the truth. It's something, it's, it's something toxic about the media. The media used to be, journalism used to be a work um, that gives both sides of stories. And it used to be bias free and it used to be, it's up to you. Now it's been swayed. The Democrats have owned the journal, the, the, the media for quite some time now. They've been on it for quite some time now. And it's a problem because I'm going to revisit some things. And on this channel, let me tell y'all what's to come in the future. Within the next 12 months, I'm going to explain this. And it's not going to need to be in the membership. It's definitely going to need to be for the people. Some of y'all may not like what I have to say or what I break down. Y'all not going to like it because it's going to expose the truth on how delusional we really were. And that's including me as well. And some of the stuff, the, the reason why, and I remember why I got away from a lot of it, because the exposure of a lot of stuff that when you go digging and researching and looking into it, sometimes you cannot handle it for the statements you made previously because you didn't know any better. So they have this thing now to where they want to go back in history and punish you all over again for things you've done at a different time in life where it was okay to do. Like Kevin Hart. How many times Kevin Hart had to go back and apologize for the gay stuff? Like he said that years and years ago, he had to keep going back and apologize because new people arise and then they now just now seeing it and now they want to apologize all over again. You get what I'm saying? Like with R. Kelly, oh, with the new people, oh, wait, how are you? so upset about something that happened before you were born or you was a kid and you knew nothing about how you upset with it. And that's what pertained to the Megan Thee Stallion lyric when it pertained to R. Kelly. Dancing and making a, how can I respect the man that dancing and making R. Kelly go viral? Uh, that's why your motherfucking ass is mentioning him in your damn song now. You know, if it wasn't for him, you know what I'm saying? And even Jay-Z gave him his props. He was like, he, he one of the goats. And he is when it come to music. Gail King even admitted on the pivot. I still listen to his music. She tried to shadow it. But if you thought he was this monster as you portrayed when you were interviewing R. Kelly, why would you even listen to it? When it came to the mute R. Kelly, you would have been, you were so down with him. You were taking pictures with the Me Too ladies. Why would you still support it? So th th the hypocrisy in that shit, right? The, the hypocrisy in, in that. And I showed y'all that on a video uh a few about a week or so ago like how when she was on the pivot like how are you doing all this taking pictures with these so-called victims and you supposed to be listening well i still listen to his music y'all full of shit so that that says set up right there that says set up right there because you were one of the ones who sat up there and, 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 and had this man distressed on an interview. Well, but you did it. You know, basically that's what she was saying. Paramount, and I'm calling y'all out, you sent me shit. I showed y'all the, the email the other day, two years ago, in April, it'd be two years, telling me about your video and the video I made right? Paramount. They didn't even bother to let YouTube do it. They lawyer online, online legal team, right? That's what they said. Remember I showed y'all the other day, that email, it was April 13, 2022. Online legal team reached out to the Spitting Fire channel, Miss Jackson. Now, I don't know you motherfuckers. How you know my name? You know how they know their name. The big wigs go find out who you is. Um, yeah, this video you did, you know, the clip in that video belonged to us. And I and I replied to him and I said, I didn't say it like this, but you know my temperament. I was professional, but my ghetto side, and I y'all know I do have a ghetto side that I embrace. Okay. I don't give a damn. Okay. I stay true to who I am. But my ghetto side was like, well, motherfucker. And, and this is just my ghetto side now. This is the Spitting Fire channel. Why don't you just do a copyright like YouTube? Them motherfuckers threw YouTube out the way like we didn't email her. Um, 
what you said in this goddamn video. Don't we got some community guidelines or why the hell? Now, if you sitting up there, big ass Paramount logo in the email, is that supposed to scare me? Is that supposed to make me nervous? The legal team? If, if, uh, is this a cease and desist? What is this? What is this? Right? They come at the dragon. I had to let them know I, I, I am the dragon. I did say that in the email. Yeah, well, I will let you know that I, I'm not easily intimidated. And I am, you know, I have an alter ego. That's the dragon. I, I, I am. Because there are some things. Because here, if you could send me a cease and desist, you would have did it. If you could, if it didn't fall under community guidelines, you would have struck me. What you did, you was mad at that video and what I was saying in that video pertained to Gail King and R. Kelly. But guess what? I got to sit up there and, and be smart too. So when I do this Rock Nation, I got to send it to an attorney and say, hey, is this legal to do? I'm going to pay that five hundred dollars for that consultation to put this video that breakdown because i know with the era we in and everybody getting accused the the money powers that be gonna be upset and they got way more zeros than your girl and that's the reality of it get what i'm saying but when paramount reached out to me not once but twice about my commentary on the R. Kelly uh, interview, I let them know that I am a regular contributor to the Innocence Project. I let them know that based on this interview and what these people said on the stand, no, because this this in the court document. Conversation went away. Conversation went away. Why that conversation went away? Yo people who went on CBS and said XYZ said uh, ABC over here. Now, what I'm trying to get folks to understand, and, 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 and again, those who don't want to learn some things can't be optimistic about things. That Milgram experiment. Y'all be like, what's she talking about the Milgram experiment? I showed it in old videos. The Milgram experiment is knowing, you know, when they play with your mind. The Milgram experiment has people following authority even when it's wrong. And most people follow authority even when it's wrong. And I realized when I took in college, that's why I was able to look it up, I'm 35%. I'm the happy 35% to know that I would challenge authority. Most of you won't. That's why you believe the shit about R. Kelly. You cannot challenge authority. You believe the government. It ain't about believing him right or wrong. You believe the government. When the government said you believe it, because you the 65%. See, in this instance, the less percentage is the one that thinks. Oh, yes, the less percentage is the one that thinks. So in the Milgram experiment, they told people to shock a man who they thought that they were shocking, but they really weren't. And because a man wore a white coat and he was an authority figure, people did it anyway. Even when it was wrong, they never questioned it. They never did anything. Just like when I put out that short today about R. Kelly, I showed people what these women were doing. They never questioned it. They just said he was guilty. They are the victims of Milgram's experiment. 
They are the 64, 65% who follows authority, right or wrong. I'm the 35% who say, no, that's wrong. Well, do it. No, I will not. That's wrong. You will do that. Nope. Monique is a 35%. When Even though I talk shit about Monique over the years, and this is before I was a blogger and had to do research and even do a reality check on myself. Oh, yeah, your girl had to check herself, too, on her thoughts and process and political views and things like that as well. And you know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of times, I may have to go back and do a thorough apology with Monique. Because I may have talked shit about her husband, but when she put it in that perspective, I was like, yeah, she right. See, I can hold myself accountable for shit. I, I'm a rare breed out here. I'm a, I'm a rare blogger out here. I can say when I'm wrong. I can come to the people, hey, I'm wrong. I was, I, was, I was wrong. And I believe I was wrong in that. I can't remember what video, but I believe I was wrong. Because as I listened to her on Shannon Sharp, I was like, that, that is true. That's true. That is true. And I said shit about her husband, but I wasn't thinking in that way. But when you can correct your wrong, that's when you're thorough. That's when you solid. That's when you the shit. It's not about proving yourself to be right. It's not about being arrogant or it's not about not. It's about being accountable, holding yourself accountable. Because when you hold yourself accountable and you know you was wrong about something or you was mistaken or you was misinformed and everything else, when you own that and you can release it out there into the universe, it's no longer on your shoulders. Nobody can say, see, you know, because you released it. Now you put it, now the ball back in your court. I own that. Because you don't have to be perfect. None of us is. So, but when she said that about her man standing by her, that's how it is supposed to be. And I think we all forgot about that. Because there's so many people now trying to take down men. It's so many alter alternative men trying to take the place of man. No disrespect to the community. But we got away from a lot of things that was traditional. And there's nothing wrong with alternative living. There's nothing wrong with being in the community. But we cannot kill foundation on anything. The, when you kill the seed of anything, you mess it up for regrowth and rebirth. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things uh, I think that is interesting. Um, let me see. Yeah, and, and and I think that I think I think that real people can hold themselves accountable for stuff. Like, I don't have to be perfect. I I don't have to be. That's why I tell y'all I'm fucked up and flawed. And y'all may be thinking I'm saying that just to be saying it. No, I'm saying it for real. I don't want nobody putting me on no pedestal. Mm -mm, I don't want that because for one, my ass is fat, and when I fall, I fall hard. So no, don't put me on no pedestal. Keep my fat ass down to the ground. That way I can be grounded and I ain't got to worry about nobody pulling nothing up, up under me. Because what the what society do, what fans do, what supporters do, they build you all the way up. Take heed. So when you get they get mad at you, they play. What's that, what's that tango lingo? Where they where they take the little sticks away? What's that? What's that game? Where they build the game and you got to take the stick out and not let them all fall. Whatever that is. Whatever that game is, right? That's what they do. They build you all the way up on these Legos and then they start removing them. And then you come tumbling down hard. And then you, and then you got all this embarrassment. all this, And you got to find a way to keep going. Look at Tasha K. She got to find a way to keep going in the midst of it. She got to just own that. Like, it's just own it. Own it. And, and that's why I went at her hard all of last year because she didn't own nothing. You can't say what you said about these parents and these accusers and still thinking this way. It doesn't, and one plus, that, that's not mathing. That's not mathing at all. That math ain't mathing at all. You can't say this man did one, two, and three, right? And then he did one, two, and three. But then all the people who said that, he did all these things. You coming at them. Well, how is you still holding him? You get, it doesn't make sense. That that math ain't mathing. That's that one plus one ain't being two. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That one plus one is something totally different than what it is you making up. 
Because the way I, the math I know, one plus one is two all day, every day. It's, it's one plus one is two all day, every day. So that's why I was coming at her hard because her math wasn't mathing, right? When you own shit, you, you do it. Now, what I find to be interesting when she got that goddamn information, right? She got that information back, what, November 13th was when, I think November 13th, November 13th is when, uh, Ty, uh what, Kales came out. Yeah, we, we taking you and in the prison in the, in the Justice Department to court. And she, she, she let up on him. She ain't saying shit. Her legal team like, don't say shit. I'm quite sure her new legal team, they told her, cause don't say shit about this one. Don't say shit. Don't say nothing else. She ain't said shit else. Interesting. That is some interesting stuff, though. I, I, I just I just find it to be some interesting stuff. But, okay, we got to move along. We got to move along because it be some folks. I, I'm just trying to tell y'all it be some folks out here mad. Ooh, and one of these folks is D.L. Hughley. Now, D.L. Hughley, okay, said, waiting into him, speaking of folks that are mad. Uh, D.L. Hughley, right? He been clapping at uh Monique for quite some time, okay? He been clapping at Monique, and he been calling her greasy, and he said she been eating too much Captain Crunch. I don't like Captain Crunch, all right? And how you lose weight and you still, uh, how you work out and you still fat, all right? She may have a genetic disorder. Leave Monique alone, all right? And, and all this type of stuff, right? He just came out. I mean, he came out really uh, bashing her, right? Because he didn't like the fact that, you know, she said some shit about him uh, on Shannon Shop. Now, when Shannon Sharp had decided, okay, Shannon Sharp had decided that uh he was gonna have Monique on. I said, oh, he thinking about how he gonna get his next viral moment, like that damn uh that damn um that damn Cat Williams interview was epic. So Shannon, like, okay, how can I uh sit up here and get another one? Who who more controversial than God dog on? Uh, Mo, uh, Cat Williams. Well, Monique, right? Now, I know he really realized, like, dang, if I had Shannon Sharp channel four or five years ago, boy, this probably would have went by. I don't know. People wasn't feeling Monique then. Uh, but they feeling Monique now. They feeling Monique now. So much so that uh, D.L. Hughley got mad at Shannon Sharp. Like, why would you get mad at Shannon Sharp? Shannon Sharp getting messier and messier. He he, Wendy Williams with a, with a what do you say with a weight lift or something like that, and I'm like he like why you mad at me like shit like why you mad at me like why you mad why you mad why you mad DL why you mad because she called you out you know and and, and she's like no nah, Cat Williams got that wrong he should add DL up in that too <laughs> I did laugh at that shit he was like and your ass was talking about my daughter. She was like, I ain't talking about your daughter. She was like, mm -mm, I ain't talking about your daughter. You talked about your daughter. You did. DL, you did. You talked about your daughter. You said your friend did something to your daughter and you ain't believe your daughter. That's on you. That is on you. That's not the same as these celebrities. People, that's on you. That's your conscience. Your kid told you some things and that was your conscience that, that uh, got you all upside your head and everything like that. I mean, that's just some, oh my goodness. So, as they sat up there, let me see. Let me see, 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 see. Ooh, wee, 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 wee. Let me see. Uh, Do we want to do the neighborhood talk or do we want to do live bites? Because I know on Instagram they're going to have it. I know on Instagram they're going to have it. Uh, Let's see. And everybody go back and revisit old stuff. 
Like they literally going back revisiting old things. So I know, let me see. I know they got DL Hughley on here. I know. I don't want to see mines. Um, but she did call out to Raji P. Henson too. That's why I did that video last night. Was it last night? Yeah, last night about Taraji P. Henson because the simple fact is some of that was on you. Like, and I think she kind of killed her career. I really do. I think they're going to they gonna blackball her softly. Like, they gave her money and it's going to be up to you and they're going to do that to say that they gave it to you and they made it right and they have nothing to do with why you are not getting any more gigs because you came out about your issues on a promo for the color purple which killed the color purple uh marketing thing like the per color purple was scheduled to do so much but honey when she came out there crying and everything and upset and all that kind of stuff people like we ain't going to support that. And and I think Oprah found, you know, felt some type of way because that wasn't an appropriate time to do that, though. And people want to feel sorry for other people. People got to hold people accountable. Like, I told people what was the deal then. You know, like, what the hell is the deal? So, let's see. Mm. Let's see. Did he take it down? Did DL take it down? Him going at uh, Monique. Nope, he didn't take it down. So, Let's sit up there and put me down and let's just revisit all this stuff, right? So let's, we already seen Monique stuff more than once, right? So let's sit up here and listen to DL because this part is about DL getting his, 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 his voice out here to be uh heard, okay? So let's see. Let's break it down. Bam. We go, we go let the, let the comments show. And let's get, let's listen. Now, this is the first uh, comment he made after uh, Monique said what she said on Shannon Sharp. Okay. And he called her a liar. Let's get it. And, and I'm going to stop and be talking in this too, because copyright. It's getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a waist set. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's a dig. That's a dig at Shannon Sharp. Now, they, now see, DL, I didn't appreciate that. He got a job to do. He can't control what the hell people say out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't like DL ass sometimes. Like, he, 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 he's so goddamn, I don't know. Mm -mm, let's get it. Um, so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy. Greasy ass video. Greasy ass video. Like, damn. Like, damn, greasy? He said that shit was greasy. Let's get it. Oh, over here. Complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. Now, what did that have to do with what she was talking about? Now, when she was on Shannon Sharp, he may have not liked what Monique had to say, but what's up with the name calling? What's up with the insults? And you're supposed to be a comedian and you're supposed to be a professional. And we're supposed to listen to your ass. Hollywood is really being exposed. Let's get it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off, she called me. Well, if she was offended, that's what people would do. If they offended, they called you. She called you to confront about it. Like she said, we do it with everybody, but you don't ask people those same questions. You may play the game, but you're not asking the same questions, especially when you know she's emotional about how the way Hollywood is treating her. Like the man ain't making no sense. Monique did, and she said I was very dismissive, like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints, I listened to her, and I pulled the segment. So if I had as been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't, because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. 
she did she said you took it down right she said you took it down she did not say you kept it up she did say that so i'm still trying to figure out what she lied about to to the point where he dogging her out it's, it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does she has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people then she encouraged everybody, uh, allegedly it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video, and she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video. Now that shit was funny, let's listen. <laughs> find them, do that, do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not gonna find? You're not gonna find any evidence of that because Monique is a fucking liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. Now, what I want to say is this. Why does the shit got to come down in my city? Like, didn't Cat Williams say something about how he demolished Steve Harvey on the stage in Detroit? And then they got into a headline dispute in Detroit. Like, why you take that shit back to Hollywood? Don't be put Detroit name in y'all bullshit. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even brought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was molested and Monique bought that shit out. No, no. Monique didn't buy, bring that out. You did that. You did that. You did that. I remember that myself. Now, I ain't taking no sides, but I do remember that myself, Brother D.L. Hughley. I do remember that. And, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be raped in front of me. The lying motherfucker. She knows she was lying. And <laughs> I'm not laughing what he's saying about that. I'm laughing about how he said, you lying motherfucker. You lying motherfucker. You know what D.L. remind look like. He, what's that, um, that Martin character? The mechanic, don't you know no good? What's his name? Yeah. His character, he looked like that with that with that, that 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 uh beard. All right, let's get it. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family videos with her children or grandchildren. Cause well, she did say on Shannon Sharp she don't fool with her family. She did say that, and, and that's been a pro a issue for many years, and this is why she was mad at Oprah Winfrey. She's been saying that. So you saying something to us. See, people do that shit all the time. They say something that you already said yourself as if you didn't already bring that out. Like, I'm not a surface-level thinker. I'm the 35%. So you're not going to tell me what she said and then reiterate that as if you the one that's bringing it out. No, nah, she already said that, bruh. Okay, come with something different. Come with something different. Nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? Cause it be like that. Everybody in your family, shit, you can't you can't help who your family is. Sometimes your family is your worst goddamn enemies. Shit. Every, all, everybody family don't kumbaya. How do how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. Now, she ain't the only one that call her husband daddy. If you guys take take uh uh take you know, what's that lady name Doctor Heavenly on Mary the Medicine she called her husband daddy, and then they was mad at R Kelly for having his girlfriends calling him daddy, like you know that's they thing you know what I'm saying that's they thing some people call, some husband call their wife's mama that's they thing what's up mama you know what I'm saying that's that's they thing and FYI. Daughters are paid for by daddies, not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You'll never, you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spent as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It no, it's going to be trash because of the simple fact is all the bickering that came around it. Had they just gave the woman what they she was worth in the beginning, promoted it and everything else, she could have spent more time with a clear conscience to write better material. How about that? Think about it from that perspective, DL, liberal, lefty, Democrat to the fullest, and can't think no Democrat do wrong, Hughley. 
It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people. Except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you... Or I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish. Well, you wasn't blackballed, Negro. <laughs> like, hello? Did we forget what the word blackball is? And this has been fired. I'm just keeping it a buck. You got to make sense when you come back at it. You're insulting, but let's get it. Cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you are fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Now that there was a bite. That was a bite. Let's get it. There's an old adage that said, you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Well, Club Shay Shay. Wow. You probably will always have to buy love. Do y'all think that she buying love? I mean, the man been with her for quite some time. And he been staying right with his woman. You know what I'm saying? He been staying right with her. Ooh, wait, like, oh my God, that is, oh my God, let's see, let's see, like, I, I don't know what's going on with this, let's see, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. so let's listen to what Monique had to say back about that one segment that DL had to say okay so let's listen take me down and then I'm going to sit up there and put this up right and then let me see I probably pull me back up mm, okay pull me over to the side and let's listen to what she's they say <laughs> we're gonna wait for y'all to come on in my babies Copyright section 107 the Copyright Act of 1976. Fair use. A long time, a long time Daddy. Look, y'all don't even understand why we smiling so hard because we was able to get it set up. <laughs> we was able to push, push the, button. the button. Hey, come on now. We want you babies to come on in here. First of all, how y'all doing? It's been a minute, my babies. It's been a minute. Life been life it. Life been life it. Where we at, Daddy? What do you mean? Okay, yeah, I think it's enough babies in there. All right. You know, let's go get it. Come on. Boy, well, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> we just wanted to take a few minutes to address a couple of things that have taken place after the Club Shay Shay interview much love to Shannon Sharp. Yes. Good brother. Thank you for allowing Monique to come on the platform, be a listening ear, continue success on what it is that you're doing. Thank you for being a real one. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Thank you. We wanted to address first and foremost our brother, D.L. Hughley. Mm. And we are firm believers on what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong. Yes. So we got to start. That's true. What is right is because my truth, their truth, your truth, all that shit. Let's just hear the truth. What's going on? Let's listen. Because what the way I'm judging this is based on consistency and common sense. So let's get it. Off by saying there was an inaccuracy as it regards Monique saying that there was a, cis, a cease and desist that was given to DL to shut it down. Mm -hmm. What had taken place to be accurate was after Monique spoke, 
to Brother DL on that conversation, Brother DL said, what? Well, after we spoke on that conversation, when we hung up that phone, the last thing he said was, it is what it is. And I said, DL, then we're going to have to get our attorney involved. That's the last thing me and D.L. Hughley said on that conversation. And after having that conversation with Monique, we went and got our attorney involved, Attorney Anderson. At the time, there were some emails that were transferred back and forth between his side and our side. And it escalated to a point when we had our attorney on the email, whereby then finally D.L. said that he would scratch the interview. Yes. So it was inaccurate that a cease and desist had to be given. However, that was the next step. And that's what Monique remembered, because when I discussed it with her, we said that would be the next step. But to DL's credit, at that moment, when it had escalated, that's when he decided to shut it down. Now, here's the thing. The way that they are explaining what happened without the bickering and the name calling and the degrading. Like even as a blogger, when you have a dispute with people that can't come back with you, that's what they do. I'm so used to that. It's been five years. But as far as that, that's what make me swing a little bit more of them because they're calm about telling the story. They're consistent with it. And they're left and leaving out all this emotion that DL had. Like you're starting to sound like you're emotional and you're mad because they put it out. But let's get it. However, that is a bit different from how it seemed to have been communicated, whereby on the phone, they were having a conversation and it was kumbaya, though he never used those words kumbaya. Mm -hmm. It did not end with her being under the impression that this was going to be resolved and shut down. So we wanted to make that clear out of love and respect for Brother DL and see the fact, the fact that he said out of respect for Brother DL, and then, and this man called your wife a liar. You get what I'm saying? Called her a liar. Called her a liar, called her fat, called her all kind of names. He ain't even on that type of time. Interesting. He's taking a more mature approach. Let's get it. And despite all the commentary that he gave, <laughs> She laughing at it. With all, the, it. with all the crunches she be doing, the I, captain's in the front. I do. And <laughs> She said, I do. I do. So, I'm a sneak snacker, baby. And she doesn't sneak <laughs> when she snacks. Okay. Hey. <laughs> but nonetheless, we wanted to be clear because at the end of the day, we black folks in this world of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And there was a level of harshness in his return that seemed a little bit exaggerated for the moment. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make it clear, and I think Monique can do it best when she speaks in reference to what she meant while talking about DL in the past. You know, when I watched DL say, she went after my wife, she went after my daughters, I want to really be clear who I went after so that there's no confusion here. When I was on stage, when I'm on stage and we are performers, we are performing to the audience in front of us. Okay. When I was on that stage and I said, it must be hard to perform oral sex. But differently. Okay. On a coward. That had nothing to do. Uh, well, that wasn't to his wife. That was to you, DL. But let's listen to what she had to say. To do with Mrs. Hughley. That insult was directed straight to you, DL. That's what I said. That was an insult to you. That was straight to you. So it felt like you were trying to pass it off mm -hmm. as if I was going after your wife. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your daughter, to the baby that you did a post about, you did an interview about, I didn't do that interview. Mm -hmm. I simply reposted what you said so when you say Monique you went after my daughter that's untrue DL I posted what you said mm -hmm. and then when you said on on your 
when you were really going for you said she went after on, the dog. And you said, Monique said, I stood by and watched my daughter be raped. Our word, our word, not to channel spin you, fire. Man? Great, great, great. That's your conscience talking to you, brother. I never said that. I never said that. And I want to be a little clear about something else. Never would I try to do anything to harm any of your babies because we got babies too. So never would I try to do anything to harm your children. However, what I was saying to your daughter and to the other daughters out there, I know what it's like for your daddy to know you've been touched and he not protect you because my daddy did the same thing. Well, so she talking as a, 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 a victim, a real victim. And she talking with experience and understanding. So because you are beefing with her, you don't want that to come from her is what I'm gathering. That's just what I'm gathering. But you supposed to be leave, you know, me too, you know, stick together. Crap. That's, that's what that whole point was. But I was, I was showing why I would call you a coward, brother. I don't think it's brave that that's you didn't true. protect your baby. So when I said what I that's was true. saying. Now, see, that's the thing. People cannot take the truth. It hurts. She said that was a cowardly thing. It is. It is. Why will I believe my friend over my daughter? Why will my daughter make that up? And why will I not side eye? And why? She's like, well, you, you ain't protect her. You ain't protect her or you ain't show her the length of what you would go to for her. Even if my friend would kick my ass, he would have had to do it. He would have had to do it. And she's saying that's the same thing her daddy did to her when it came to her brother and all this and that probably. So I'm not understanding. See, this Me Too stuff is a fraud. It's, it's, it's such a fraud, just like the Black Lives Matter movement. It's a fraud. It's a big old fraud. It's, it's a fraud. Let's get it. Let me be clear to you, D.L. Hughley. It had nothing to do in reference to your family, and you know that. Now, when you were speaking and you were going off and you said, um, uh, what did you say? Well, she like was so offended by real. the game we play, but you didn't say what the offense was. And that's the part for me that is disheartening that you continue to try to trick and smoke and mirror our people. Yeah, that's if what they all do. It. That's what Gail do. That's what Oprah do. That's what the powers that be do. That's what the media do. That's what they all do. That's what they all do. It's say it all the way through. When you say family is sacred, you are absolutely right, baby. You're right. But when you say would my husband rather and you co-sign your team of people doing that, well, isn't my husband sacred? Yeah. So you got to be careful in your words because the very words you use, DL, they're going to come back and they're coming back to bite you, baby. And what I also said on Club Shay Shay, when I looked in that camera, I said, DL, I love you, brother. And I don't know if you didn't hear that part. But we really do. We love you, brother. And if ever you get caught. People can't take constructive criticism no more, Monique. Believe me, I know. People cannot take constructive criticism. People do not like it. They feel embarrassed. Who is you to question? Who is you to check? Who is you to give me advice? Who is you to do this? Who is you to do it? People cannot take constructive criticism no more. Trust me, I know. Courageous enough. To want to have a conversation, we're always open to it because doing that, it shows how our community can get better. When you're wrong, as we have said to you, hey, brother, we apologize on that one. Yeah, incorrect on the cease and desist. And I want to add one more thing. When you spoke in reference to your daughter being a reason why Monique stopped speaking about it, what you don't even understand out of love for you out of love for you. See, you can have a problem with your brother, but you're not going to take it out on the kids. And right. we respected the fact that she tried to defend you, but we got three big ass sons. 
that if we were to think about it in the same way that she thought about it, what would that be? But out of love for you, we're not going to go after your child trying to protect the father that she loves. But one could argue based upon what you said about yourself, had you exhibited the same type of love and protection for your other daughter that your other daughter tried to exhibit towards you, there never be, would have been the commentary that you made about yourself. And I liken it to Brother Corey Holcomb. Why? Okay, so we're not going to bring nobody else in it. But that was interesting that they said that, right? That was interesting that they said that and they was talking about uh, Monique, okay? They were talking about her and they was sitting up there saying, hey, you know, this, this is what, you know, what's going on and this is what's happening and all that kind of stuff. And it's interesting. It's interesting that these things happen. But uh, Monique still, uh, they don't DL believe in still Jesus. still wasn't having that. DL still wasn't having it. He still wasn't having it. He wasn't ready to receive it like that. And so he came back. And when he came back, this is what he came back with. Even after they said that. Now, they didn't tell DL that they love him. They didn't tell DL, you know, they apologized to him. They they told him the facts of, what you know, something that was reasonable and it made sense. And again, when people are caught up in their feelings, they can't hear all that. They just, in his mind, he hearing the text. Let's get it, all right? So let's sit up here and listen to him. His reply again. Now, let's get it. All right, I, I, I'm taking time to respond to Monique again. She made another greasy-ass video with her dad. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? He coming. He coming. This, he coming. He coming. I can't fuck with him. I, I, I try to be bias-free. I can't fuck with this. Because I, I didn't live this and dealt with this in blogging. When you try to have a conversation on, on some adult stuff and people meet and the energy with juvenile and, and, and shit like this. Oh my Daddy, um, we kind of relitigating some of the stuff she said on Club Shay Shay where she talked about how she was on the show and somebody, you know, they played a game, Would You Rather? And I guess she felt like they insulted her husband's sexuality, which is interesting because she can always talk shit about everybody else's sexuality. But I guess her husband's sex was like, he's off limit. But a hit dog will bark unless his mouth is full. But she talked about, well, she didn't actually call her lawyer. Who the fuck would be afraid of your lawyer? Your lawyer, you mean the lawyer? See, here he go with some insults. This the same shit I used to deal with. Listen to it. Listen to how it make you feel. Like, damn, you couldn't even come back on some intelligent grown folk shit. Man, I know all about this shit. Let's listen. Lawyer that did your contract the law law that lawyer the lawyer from the firm of negro 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 from ghetto got him and gone that lawyer who the fuck afraid of him he couldn't get your name right on a ticket he gonna get it right on a, on a legal document it That's didn't something. happen because we decided it shouldn't happen and look at my code we didn't you didn't need to because we respect people we don't have to do things for t for, for clicks they took it off because you asked me to because i respected you at the time you also talked about how i um disrespect you on so many platforms uh, but you have yet, you have this impeccable memory where you can tell to the degree, well, who did what to you and why and what happened, where you were. But you can't pull up one time on any platform that I said anything about you at all because you know you're lying. You got that piece of paper and that big ass memory, but you can't pull one up. My biggest mistake is saying yes to you. I should have said no when you came on my, you couldn't come on my radio show. I should have said no that I wasn't playing those dates with you. As a matter of fact, I would, almost anybody who says yes to you at some point is, is, is in this mail you with you. Almost anybody. So I would suggest anybody out there, you can say yes to drugs, but say no to Monique. You talked about how. What? I didn't hear that part. What? <sighs> Oh, Lord, D.L. Did you have to go there, D.L.? How um, my children, families are off limits. They weren't when you were running across Vegas. I mean, on the stage in Detroit. They weren't when you talking shit on social media. When you stuff. got your ass whipped and your tickets dropped, then they became off limits. But let's do this. Let's decide that you will treat my children like you treat yours, like you don't know them, invisible, like you have no relationship with them, like you're estranged. 
You're, like you're unfamiliar. Like you don't know. You also intimated that I was coward. You know what I'd never do? I would never let my woman take care of me. I would never let my woman get evicted from her apartment. I would never let my woman has to ask another man for money. I'd never do that. Can your old man say the same? He loves you. Of course, he got to say that. You claim him on your taxes. He's a dependent. He's sitting there with you right now. Uh-huh and everything. Because it ain't like he does anything else. But you never address the salient point. I said that if you spent as much time writing your Netflix special as you did arguing about getting it, it wouldn't have been trash. It was. I didn't say it. I defy anybody out there. Stop listening to me. Watch it. Read the reviews. Read the reviews. You beg for something. You made valid points that women are underpaid, that they're not valued. That's absolutely right. So you would think that when you got a chance to do something that you would argue for, you'd be up for the challenge, but you shit the bed because you never are ready for it because all you ever do is complain about what you don't have. You're never ready for the moment because you're always living in the past. I said it. You, if you spend half of your time doing, as opposed to talking about who didn't do for you and what they did for you, you'd be a lot further along. You wouldn't be evicted. You wouldn't be working for your man. You wouldn't be asking other comics for money. So you got all the ingredients. Take that piece of paper that you're running down the list with and that pen that you got and that daddy six next to you, the daddy sitting next to you and do what you can't do, do what you never do. Write a fucking joke. That was hard. That was hard. Wow. Wow. And that's messed up because she didn't, her and her husband did not even approach him in that manner. Uh, uh, that See, that's where I had that issue too. Being a blogger, when you have a, a difference of opinion and you really want to go back and forth on issues or policies or situations and people meet you with a whole nother energy because they can't have that intelligent shit. They come at you with shit like this. And she met him with professionalism. He come at her with some ghetto ratchet shit. Some emotional ghetto ratchet shit. Girl, Monique, if you don't goddamn take that motherfucking wig off, if you don't put your husband to the side and say, hey, this some comic shit, this some street shit, and you keep your professional and your integrity and, and, and your, and you know, your place over there. Cause we need that. But I got to get with this motherfucker Baltimore style. I got to, I got to come back at this motherfucker. If you don't show this motherfucker what you made of, cause I, I will have, I would have came at them. I would have been like, you goat looking bitch. Now that's with me. Now that, that what may not be, you know, her thing. And I'm not saying, you know, but I would have said that. I would have been like, let me tell you something, you short ass goat looking bitch. You don't sit up there and tell me about my motherfucking husband. All right. You the one who's sitting up there making babies all outside your goddamn marriage, motherfucker. And your goddamn, oh, man, I would have, man, man, if you don't show him. Girl, you better show him that big girl side. You better show him that ball be more side, girl. You better show him. Because I'm not going to be nice to you and try to be respectful to you. And you keep dismissing my husband. My husband is my manager. He works for me. This is a team. And you going to sit up there and say, oh, because you claim on your taxes and all this and that. We a team. However we get it, we getting it. But I have to make a comment, pay for somebody or loan somebody some money. Nigga, your ass wasn't working for a minute. And she paid the man back with interest. That was their thing. They ain't had nothing to do with you. But the fact is, and I'm just saying if I was her. Now, I'm only, I'm not speaking up for Monique. I am not. I am not speaking up for Monique. I'm just saying how the dragon would have came out had he been talking to me. And I know that you from Baltimore, Monique, why is you keep trying to talk to this man with respect and he keep coming at you? Because I would have, man, I would have been like, okay. Y'all know that thing song would have got the, that dragon song would have got the plan. I would have called that motherfucker every name in the book. By the time, and he kept coming at my husband. By the time his motherfucker, his daughter probably been a jump. Bitch, you ain't got no respect for my family. Fuck yours. I would have been like, cause I, and that's the, and that's how the dragon is on 
these YouTube streets. Like, I try to come back with people. Like, I try to have <clears throat> disagreements with people, right? Not for the sake of just clicks and views, but just to have conversation about topics. They meet me, and for the last five years, was this type of shit. This, this type of shit. I'm like, you cannot be that fucking delusional where you can't come back and talk about things in a professional manner or have a debate or even a heated, intelligent conversation. No, this is the type of shit I've been met with. So I probably am having some type of feelings for Monique because I know what it's like to try to have a disagreement. You have a disagreement with somebody, you try to meet them with some professionalism and they come back at you with bullshit like this. I had it with the girl over there, the Hollywood. I had it with, I had it all in the old kale sector. Oh, she gone, but still. I had it in all that. I was met with that type of energy and it didn't even cause for that. So I know what it's like, but she needs to make sure she brings that damn. No, you ain't going to get to do that twice. Now you did it once and we came back professional and then you going to read, you going to meet it again with the disrespect. Nah, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. I probably would have pulled up, but then she said she was going to probably pull up on Shannon Sharp. I think she was talking about, uh, was she talking about Oprah? Or DL, I'd probably change that to goddamn DL. She ain't gonna get next to Oprah. Oprah got probably Secret Service next to her ass. I'm just saying, I, I would, I would, I would have met him with his same energy. That's how the dragon came. Like I would have met you with that same damn energy. Like it, it didn't, it didn't have to meet like that. You just in your feelings. You in your feelings, and for and then. You talking about your daughter and, 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 and loving her and all this and that. You talking to another man's wife like that and you were bashing his wife. Because why? Because you ain't worried about nobody doing nothing to touch me. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know how much I would have took if, 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 if your husband. You ain't finna keep calling me like I'm a punk. You ain't finna keep, cha you know, challenging my manhood. Like, she cussed your ass out because you called her all kind of names. But if I was her husband, I would have cussed your ass out man to man. I'd have been like, okay, now that you want to attack my manhood, when I see you, we're we going to have this conversation when I see you. And it might be a lot of law enforcement and some 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 EMS calls and, and maybe a court case, okay? And maybe all kind of shit going to happen after that. Right, depending on you having that very same fucking energy. Now that's what I would have said if I was her, but I'm not taking up for her. I'm just saying what I was like. Cause how you meet with that energy after that? Like how you just that's night and day. Like yeah, you supposed to came back intelligently. Even if you roast her, you supposed to did it intelligently. If you even if you still felt some type of way, you know what I'm saying. You just come off as this loud mouth goat. That's what I would have called you. You look like a goat. Okay. And I'm not talking about the greatest of all time. Literally like a goat. Yeah. Yeah. You can call me all kind of fat this. And I know I'm Captain Crunch and all that. No, I'm Frosted Flakes. I don't like Captain Crunch. But what I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you. I would, I would have came. I would, if I was Monique, I would have came back Baltimore style. Probably would have came back with Krishan Rock. Shit, they are both from Baltimore. I probably, I would have came back at him with Baltimore. I would have been like, I would have called them all kind of bitches and hoe ass niggas. Y'all know how I do. And you fuck boy. And I would have just called them all kind of damn names. I would have been so damn ghetto. Like what you ain't go do is. Take my professionalism and throw it down the fucking toilet and just say, F you. Like, it wasn't what he said. It's the energy you met me with. I done apologized. I done did this. I said it already. And you just said, F you. Da, 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 da. And which you should do, write some jokes. I'd be like, bitch, your motherfucking specials ain't went and sold out either. You get what I'm saying? I would, oh my God. I would have met, I would have been so ghetto. I would have been so ghetto. That's why I embrace my ghetto-ness because sometimes it's needed. 
you know, you can try to be like Monique sometimes and her husband. You can, but you can't be that way with everybody because people are just ghetto and ignorant. And so they're going to meet you with that. It's just people just can't take constructive criticism. They go meet you with that DL energy. And then it's going to be like, okay, bitch, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's motherfucking get it. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't get the respect I'm trying to give you. Take it. Embrace it, love it, and and even if you disagree, show it in return. People don't have respect for that, and DL definitely don't have none. And so he's like her greasy, greasy, greasy. I'm looking at you like you a celebrity, you know what I'm saying, like. And people like the mess. Like, I, I like the gossip, you know, back back and forth between her and him. But she's not meeting you with that energy. I like I like intelligent disputes, too, now. Don't get me wrong. I love that stuff. I love when somebody, when they classy and they come back at you classy. I love that shit, too. Because it shows how smart you are. It shows that you can stay on topic. And not take things personally. And, I, and some of you who are like DL, take heed to that. Take heed to that now. See the energy she gave him and he kept giving her back in return. Take heed to that. Now, he may not be feeling her, but learn how to give it back in the more. Don't let nobody look at you as bitter and angry and emotional and effed up. And this how you coming at her. Be able to come back at somebody intelligently. Be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's the sexiest thing in the world to actually tell somebody to kiss your ass in a very nice, nasty way. You know what I mean? Like, you did it. Like, she let it be known you did it. The point is, is that he, she, what she did, the reason why she was able to be calm, because she was right. He was so emotional, (laughs) disconnect. She got that nigga so discombobulated. He like, he just all in his feelings. He can't, he couldn't even control himself. He had to meet her with insults. You get what I'm saying? She was like, no, I didn't come at your wife. I said, she gave him head to a coward. I was talking to you. She said, like, in other words, she was like, no, I did call you a coward. And I was talking to you. That wasn't a dig at your wife. You trying to make it sound like I came for your wife. No, I wasn't coming at your wife. I'm coming at you. She got to suck your dick. And she's sucking the dick of a coward. That was some, that was some, that was some strong shit there though. That was some strong shit there. And he didn't know how to take that. Who you calling the coward? And, and greasy? No, no, it ain't greasy. I would have been like, coward? I would have been like, well, that probably would have been your husband. Considering the fact that you're sitting up there following him on your tax return. Considering the fact that you are the breadwinner and the man in the relationship. Considering the fact that he's your daddy who seemed to have you working and making all the money. Like, I would have came back like that without the aggression in the voice. I would have met her with her same energy with the nice nastiness. People came at me in chat rooms, and I met them with the same energy. Well, I don't mean, they try to be nice, nasty. I will meet you back with your same energy. Nice, nasty. You get what I'm saying? I could be nice, nasty, too. You know, motherfuckers, motherfuckers think when you be a nice, nasty, they think that they the only one could do it. Like one of the ladies, like was spitting fire. She was asking me some about R. Kelly. It was like last year, I can't remember, and she was being funny uh, with no disrespect. I was like, oh, with none taken. But let me show you this. You see what I'm saying? Like I, I, I would come back at you with the nice nastiness. I'm the blogger. You know, and let me tell you something about being a blogger. You got to be witty. You got your your comeback and your snapback got to be on point. It, it, uh, everything comes with that. Because the world is coming at you and coming for you. And sometimes you got to pick your battle. Sometimes it ain't worth it. And sometimes you got to come at them. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, she really want to get witty with me. Hmm. And then when I speak to her, I'm like, hello. She don't speak back. What's the emotion about? Because I met you with your energy. Don't, in, in other words, I said that to say, don't dish out to people what you don't want in return and you can't handle. 
You can't handle it. You get what I'm saying? So that's one of the things. It's just unfortunate that D.L. went like that. I do like D.L. Hughley. I will give him a heart, not because of the simple fact I liked his statement. I will give him a heart for the fact that he did come back. He just came back unintelligent. It, it, it makes me think him, look at him a little different. I do look at him a little different already with his points of views in politics. But um, you just can't come at him intelligently. If you do, he likes to overtalk you, overshadow you, and he likes to, you know, put you on the spot and stuff like that. But I really do think that D, that Monique can roast him down. I really do. I really think because she's calm and collected. And most people who have some self-control like that, they really will be able to roast you down. I really do believe if they wanted to, to go through an all-battle roast, she will roast him down. I really do believe it. Her tongue is slick. When they be talking about that baby and this, this, it's a sharp, it's a knife. That tongue is, the other side of that is real sharp. And I think DL think his is sharp, which is probably is, but I don't think the blade on both sides of her tongue is as is, is sharp. I really do think that, you know, Monique will roast DL down to the ground. I think she letting him have this. I think she got her point. I think she's on Club Shay Shay. And then he had the nerve to come back Shannon channel it seemed like it ain't number wendy williams with a weight set like you coming at with jabs you coming with jabs like he's the type of guy that would get his ass kicked you know shannon ain't go deal with deal like that's like the incredible hawk you know what i'm saying fighting spider-man like just 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 stop just 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 stop you i don't think you want to be tackled by that damn football player deal you will be unconscious and in a coma for about two damn months. All right? We, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no fanning. You know, when you come to, we got to ask you what year it is. Do you know who's president? Do you know your name? And then we're going to have to be taking a damn sharp object, rubbing it on your feet. Can you feel this? You know, all that bullshit. You don't want to fuck with that man, okay? You don't want to go through those type of issues. You don't want to fuck with that man. Leave Shannon alone, okay? Keep your comments to yourself and your hating ass shit to yourself because that was some hating ass shit, though. I'm just keeping this book. I just like, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I do know that on Nightcap last night, I enjoyed it. They celebrated their 1 million subscribers, okay? They celebrated their 1 million subscribers. Uh, him and Ocho celebrated that. Did you see uh, Chad try to take a drink? I swear to God. You know, he remind me of my daughter. I mean, just my daughter's such a freak, y'all. She's nothing like her mother. Nothing like her father, okay? We like, hey, champagne, boo. My daughter like, drinking? Like, drinking? You know, she's, my daughter is in a utopia, I think. You know what I mean? I think we, I shelter her so much. I think she thinks she's in a utopia or something. You gotta have some real life experiences, child. Like she just be like, ugh. she's so conservative, so conservative. That's the more I don't understand how this child conservative. This child is conservative. I'm like, damn, who are her parents? I really do think she was squished at birth, though. We we really do need to do a blood test because this this girl can't can't be our house because she can't she ain't nothing like me and her daddy like. She she just she just she 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 just direct and, and, and precise, you know what I'm saying? She covers up, you know. She's so I'm like she 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 go she she go date her a church nigga. She go get her a man in church. He go really be in church, like really in church, not the fake churches. He go really be in church. He go be one of those old school church stuff. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be. He probably gonna have pants up to past his stomach. My son-in-law will probably have floods with some white socks. You know what I'm saying? Probably built like Bookman. Yeah, my my son-in-law probably cause she she's 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 so sweater and and so pocketbook. <laughs> you know? I'm like, what child is this? You remember that that episode of Dorothy on the Golden Girls where Dorothy may have been switched at birth? 
I'm telling y'all that. Like, what child is this? Bender talked to her one time. Bender was like, she's so different from you. Because Bender talked to my husband, too. He said, he, she's so different from y'all. We've been trying to figure this out since she we had her. My daughter, when she was two years old, y'all, you know how you have to give them a bath, put them to bed, right? You get her a bath, feed her and everything. She going in and go to bed herself. Night, night, she turned off the light and going in herself. Repetitiously. I never had to put this. I said, it, just like right now, she in the bed. She can't stay up late. She cannot stay up late. Cannot stay up late. Would not hang out late. Would not stay out. I said, this girl ain't got a wow factor. I said, what, am I going to ever have some grandkids before I leave this earth? I'm probably going to be 80 and ain't going to be able to enjoy them because I'm old. Because she going to be waiting to this. And she she is, y'all. But then they be they say them them freaky ones. She probably, I hope she got some freak in her. Lord knows. Please take out for your mama. Have some freak in you. Like, don't just be missionary. Have some freak in you like your mama. God damn, girl. I just, uh, let me, let me, let me go ahead on and, and go to the next segment. I just was talking about my child. I'm like, Lord have mercy. She, this child ain't got nothing of me, y'all. Nothing of me. Nothing of me. We, we ain't, they be like, you don't ain't nothing like your mama. She, she be like, sure don't. We go out. She be like, Mom, please don't embarrass me. I'm like, I ain't going to embarrass your goddamn ass. Bring your ass on here. She just be like, <laughs> goddamn prude ass. Such a prude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't cuss nobody out. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened before I move on to the next subject. Let me tell y'all what happened. She gone in there now, I can tell y'all. It was this lady that made her mad at work. She come on. She said this. It wasn't nothing, y'all, but it made her mad. You, she's a prude, okay? You know, a pretty prude. And I said, what, did you cuss her out? Mom, I would not cuss her out. Get your ass out of my motherfucking face. You ain't my God. Don't come tell me no bullshit because I'm going to tell you to cuss her ass out. I'm your, what, what you want me to say? Like, what y'all get on, on, on YouTube sometimes is how I am in real life. What the fuck you want me to say? I'm going to tell you to cuss her out. I was the mom that told you to fight in school. My daughter be like, I'm not going to fight, right? She didn't fight. Got beat up because she wouldn't fight. And then... <laughs> Y'all, it was the craziest shit ever. I went up there to fight. I went up there to fight the principal. I went up there to fight everybody else. And then I stood in the hallway. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, the fuck I did. Right? I stood in the hallway. And I said, where that little bitch at that, that, that you, uh trying to fight you? She like, I was in the hallway. All the goddamn class started. All of them stopped talking. It was so quiet. All the kids was in the dough. I was like, where that bitch at? Cause, and then the principal was behind me. Miss Jackson, you can't uh, be cussing. These goddamn kids be cussing and you don't say shit. I'm all, blah, blah, blah. I, I, was, I, was, I was acting a fool. And then I told the principal, I said, the next time that little heifer say something to her, she gonna drag her by her hair and she gonna drag her all the way to your goddamn office and then me and you gonna have a goddamn situation. My daughter was like, Girl, she was finna have a damn heart attack. Like, like the, the gym teacher was holding her about fanning her ass. She was like, and they knew. They was like, you're doing. And so then we had a meeting after that. She was like, she's nothing like you. I just bust out laughing. I was like, no, she's not. Nope, she is not, girl. My my daughter be like, ma, please, like, get your goddamn ass out the way, like. Can we talk civilized? That's her. <laughs> I told you that child ain't my child. I don't know what I had her ass, you know, saying to these hospitals. I'm going to go back and check the records because that, that is not my child. That is somebody. That, so that is not my child. God probably know what he's doing because if I had a child like me, oh, we, it probably wore the roses up in this motherfucker. Like, oh, my God. Mm-mm. 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 I don't 
think that's my child though. I, I tell her that I don't think that's ours because she she too got she be she be telling us to calm down and 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 and, and mm -mm. we me and her dad her daddy ain't as bad as me. Like I, I'm the, I'm the high headed one in, in this household. You know what I'm saying? My temper is is I be ready to you know what I'm saying. I do. I got a, I got a fucked up temper, y'all. But I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of wife give her husband a gun for Father's Day? Like, that's some bullshit, ain't it? He said, what kind of fucking... <laughs> My husband said that to me, y'all. He said, what kind of wife does this? <laughs> me. That's in case... That's right. Just in case we have to sit up there and suit him up. Shit. That's right. Me. And I told my daughter we're going to go shooting. She's like, mother, I'm not going shooting. I'm not. She said mother at that point. That was just last week. She said, I'm not going shooting. Oh, no. Oh, guns. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was like, I ain't going to never have no grandkids, y'all. Not in this age. I'm going to be like 90 when she probably have her first baby. She's probably going to be one of those 45, 50-year-old mothers for the first time. You know, she's going to be one of those mothers that still dress her kid in a sailor suit and shit. You know, I'm the mother that's more sassier than her. You know what I'm saying? She's one of those, oh, he's so cute in his little sailor suit. And I'm just going to be like, just look at her. You know what I'm saying? I can just see my little grandson, his little chubby self in his little sailor suit with his little fat legs. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, let's move along. Things, everybody can't get everything they want. 90? Shit. If I'm still here. I want to I wanna be able to have some, some, some fun with my damn grandkids. I don't want to be 90. I do not want to be no damn 90 years old uh, have, having my first grandchild at 90. I don't want to be no goddamn 90 now. Shit. Hell no. Hell no. I don't want to be 70. Shit. I want to enjoy some shit. The hell going on? I want to enjoy some things. You know? Killer Mike. Segwaying into Killer Mike. You know what I'm saying? You will just wait. I hope so. I, I don't want to be that old, though, y'all. I'm knocking on chapter 50. I ain't rushing her, but damn it. She too slow-paced for me. She too she too old soul for me. She Y'all, she listened to The Temptations. The, the favorite song is... The Temptations and in, 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 in her favorite song is The Temptations and a song um about the, the I what uh the gap band and the child I'm like she likes some of these musics. She don't like Suki. Um, Suki I'm too nasty. She don't really like Cardi B. She don't like the nasty music. I'm like, oh see, she don't even like the nasty music. Her freak level is all all gonna be zero. Like Go be zero. She's she's gonna have to go. They gonna both. She gonna marry somebody. They gonna have to read instructions on how they do it. Like she probably gonna be like, well, maybe we should run a porn. You know, they probably gonna have to do that to know how they go go do it. All right, you know. Mm. Ooh, she loved the Temptations, child. I liked the old music too when I was young, but I did like some music my age. But she loved just old music like a lot. Or whatever. So let's move along. Uh, thirty minutes on her is enough. Killer Mike, okay. Killer Mike was arrested after the Grammys last week, right? But he had a conversation. He had a conversation with Tucker Carlson, and basically, the Democrat extreme leftist is not happy with Biden. So that lets you know that your girl spitting fire. Ain't the only one, right? It ain't the only one. I had a girlfriend, and I was like, you know, I was telling her some policies about with Trump and what was going on with Trump and what's going on now. Now, I'm going to share something personal with y'all. 
I'm not going to, I'm not going to, okay, this is a post office thing, right? Oh, I use this paper towel. So pretend like this was some documents. I have an uncle who is, you know, up in age that I care for, right? And social security, he's, he's of social security age. He's up in his, he's a senior citizen. And my uncle have a disability, but prior to being of age of social security. So he was always getting social security because of a disability. But then now that he's aged into social security, it's not just disability anymore, it's regular social security. So they send me some information about they want me to fill it. Well, they want him to fill it out. I fill it out for him. I take care of his business for him. They want him to fill out some stuff to update some stuff. And you want to know why I'm saying that. I want y'all to stay here and listen to why I'm saying what I'm saying, because you got family members that's ailing and getting older and all this and that. So I need y'all to pay attention to what I'm saying. You can't always have bullshit all the time. Listen, and I'm not trying to be a dictatorship or talk at you, but sometimes y'all need to be talked at. Listen. So when they sent this paperwork from Social Security Office, Department of Human Services, anything with the government pertaining to him, they want to know if he's eligible to get some information, to, get, to continue to get benefits that he's been getting. Now... For the sake of YouTube, I won't tell what his disability is because y'all ignorant out here. But, and I'm not, don't take it personal. Y'all know how the world is. But, his 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 illness ain't gonna go away. And now he's of age of Social Security. It ain't gonna go away. Right? So, if his disability ain't gonna go away, and he's aged into Social Security. You're not going to age backwards, so that ain't going to go away. Why the fuck is you sending me some information about to see if he's eligible when you sending money to Ukraine? D hear me again. Because some of y'all got the same information, the same letter. Some of y'all in y'all 60s or 50s with disabilities, 60s with disabilities, or you aged into Social Security, and they send you shit for you to fill out. The, it rather, if, if you got a disability or somebody in your family with a disability, and that disability ain't going to go away. Or... If your person aged into Social Security where they're over 67, you're not going to age backwards. You aged into Social Security. You're a senior citizen. This is this is what goals is. Like, you're supposed to want to live long enough to receive that, right? To reap the benefits of that. So, take care of our elderly, right? Why are they sending me or him, protect him, per se, stuff to see if he's still eligible? Why is your government doing that when you sending billions of dollars over to Ukraine and trying to get people over the border, illegal immigrants, millions and billions of dollars? Why? If anybody that's on Social Security, whether it's disability, regular Social Security or whatever, and your illness or your disability or whatever is never going to change or not going to change is something you're living with. Why is your government asking you to fill out some shit when you currently announce you giving billions and millions of dollars to another country? That is, it's, I don't care what it is. It's not going to change. It's not right. How dare you ask me, who's a citizen, which my well his his age ain't gonna go backwards to update some shit when you give him? Because if he don't turn it in, you can lose your benefits. Well, I got a problem with that because you sending shit to Ukraine. How you ask citizens of the United States? to update information that ain't going to change 
and you steady getting big trillions of dollars over to something of another country and illegal immigrants. This is y'all fucking country that does this shit. This is the shit. It, instead of them having you asking you questions about <clears throat> gay rights and women rights and reproductive rights, that shit is really not important. I'm not finna sit up there and tell you what to do with your vagina. There's too much contraceptives out here for you not to have to have an abortion. If you want to have sex, you can fuck. Okay, this is Spin Fire Channel. You can fuck, you can fuck responsibly. Why would you just fuck freely to just get pregnant and then put your body through the distress of a termination when you got all this birth control, shots, patches, you got all this bullshit out here to stop that? Like, and then you talk about rights of people who already have rights, the community. Well, the gay rights, like, on a debate, I don't want to hear that. Spitting Fire have told you guys a long time ago, when this election comes, I don't want to hear anything about no gay rights. I don't want to hear about no women's rights. I don't hear about that shit. People go fuck to the beginning of time and who they fuck is their business. We don't want to hear about that shit. We don't want that to be the focal point. I want to talk about why the hell are you asking Social Security people who are of age or who is totally disabled to identify who they are, to update who they are, or they will lose their benefits when you're giving all this money to people in other countries. Why do some, Why do our elderly have to go through this type of stuff? These are the stuff that you need. Because here's the thing. The one thing they do when I go to the Social Security office with my uncle, the first thing they say is, well, we overworked and we, under, we understaffed and overworked. Well, if you have a filter of people who are 67 plus that, that, that's in Social Security, you're not going to age backwards. You don't need to upgrade that social security information. The only way you need to do that if they transition. Because at the age of 67 and older, you still, you can be a millionaire, you're still gonna get the check. Cause you aged into it. And you can make as much money over the age of 67 as you want. So my point is, why do we need to upgrade or update information? Why don't you have a category for those who illness or age is not going to change, is going forward. Like, it doesn't make sense, especially when you have millions of dollars, billions of dollars, and trillions of dollars that you're giving to other countries and, and illegal immigrants. This, this, this don't make any sense. So, that's just what I wanted to say. That needs to be a focal point. Um, if anybody go to one of those conventions to ask the presidential candidates, Okay, that needs to be a focal point, right? I don't want to hear about the same shit. I don't want to hear about no Roe versus Wade. I don't want to hear about no gay rights. I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all been talking that shit for 50, 20, 50, 60 years. I don't want to hear that shit. I want to hear the shit about how you giving money away to this country and stuff like that. Like when the pandemic hit, who eligible? Everybody should have been eligible. Everyone. Everyone's lives was at risk when, you know what I'm saying? And all they had was a hope in a mask. Everyone. How are you going to tell people who are citizens of this country, well, we want to see if you eligible. If it was a pandemic and it was in the air that I had to breathe, I should be eligible. I don't give a damn how much I was making, how much I wasn't making what I was on, what I wasn't on. But you're giving trillions of dollars to another country. So when Killer Mike had this conversation, he was saying that this was a man that said, you're not black if you don't vote for me. This was a man that had a press conference and couldn't even identify the presidents in other countries. Didn't know their names. Couldn't remember. And he's walking funny. Like he, 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 he walking funny. He's almost 90. He's almost 90. Okay, he's almost 90 and they're taking advantage. I, I, and I, I did believe Biden did all this, but 
He's taken, he's been, I think he's been taken advantage of, in my opinion. He put a lot of them in office. Or a lot of different people in office. And that was probably the only way that they will get there and they got there. Right? So... It's just one of those things. And then right after that interview, he got three Grammys. He got arrested. A woman, a security guard, bodyguard, he pushed her down. She fell to the ground, fell down the flight of stairs, got ran over by a bus and a train, got hit by a, a plane, got shot by a cannon. So she made all these complaints, right? Having a job that requires you to get physical or be touched upon. Like this is the, why, why do men put themselves in that situation? Like I wouldn't, any man who have a woman bodyguard or security, mm -mm. Mm -mm. she finna play victim. He, she finna play victim. You is it? You a bodyguard? You don't know no defense taxes to bring his fat ass down. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just tired. And so, but I don't think that that would have really went. He didn't bag Biden. And the very next day, he got arrested. It's so funny how, and I believe the Democrats is behind it. I said that to y'all six years ago. The Democrats is behind all this shit. The Democrats is behind Black Lives Matter. We're going to be talking about that. Ugh. I may lose some subscribers on that. I've already uh, predicted that I'm going to lose some uh, subscribers on that. I did. Somebody had looked at some of my old videos. And they was told me that some things that I said weren't true. And so I said, okay, well, enlighten me. Because I'm always open for truth. And they showed me some things. And I researched a little further on areas that I didn't even know to look. Initially, when I did these uh, Black Lives Matter videos. Back in the day before I even showed myself. And uh, it's ugly. It's real ugly. I, I'm shocked that, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I missed it. I think I missed it. I think God allowed me not to, to, to see that information clearly. You know how sometimes you watch something and you, I, I wasn't always, let me, let me, let, and when I said earlier, I wasn't always the six, uh, 35% with the Milgram experiment. I was 65% at times. I admit but when I can go back and look at some for a second time, I can get that that thirty five percent come through. Yeah, that thirty five percent come through because it was some things I was sixty five percent on, and I think this Black Lives Matter stuff. Uh, I think this Black Lives Matter stuff is. I'm I'm just I I don't know. It's, it's ugly, y'all. It's a truth teller. It makes us look in the mirror at ourselves like, wow. It, it's exposed black people as being the real racist. <sighs> yeah. But it got to get put out. See, I put shit out that I know that is going to make people mad. I don't push shit out that I know people go like all the time because life ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? If we wrong about some things and some people, just like with R. Kelly, people think we crazy because we support them. But what if I show you something that we, people we hated and it really wasn't like that and we already condemned them like they did R. Kelly? That's what this Black Lives Matter is going to entail. 
it's going to show you something whenever I get work on it. I got to get the nerve, you know, because it's going to be a lot come with this. I did the backlash. I got backlash off a short I did with the judge. I said, these people are so hypocritical. When I say, oh, he got that ass. People didn't like it. You're condoning this. You can see her antagonize him. You can see he was in distress and already made worse decisions. Even if you had to sentence him, why would you laugh at him? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? And then this legal system ain't been fair to black men. Look how many of y'all sentence these men unjust over the, the what, sentencing guidelines. I suppose, all, I suppose be on her side. We... We don't like the police, but we supposed to like the judges that send you up the river. <laughs> ah. So they got Killer Mike. I wouldn't be surprised if they come at him with some Me Too's. How is it that we still believe Me Too's when we can predict that people are going to be Me Too'd? How? They're going to come at him with some Me Too's. Keep him in check. How dare you not support a Democrat? You a Democrat and you're not happy with the Democrat and now they flexing. Arrest him. You went on Tucker, Tucker Carson and said you're not going to sit up there and, 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 and vote publicly? That's what the Democrats do. They have no loyalty. And then you got all these black people I'm voting Democrat. And this motherfucker told y'all he ain't giving you no reparations and telling you giving millions of dollars to Ukraine. When my mama said she wasn't voting for no doggone Democrat, I knew right then somebody pissed off. Zena, when Zena said that, I said, oh, Lord. But Zena was out here a strong Democrat. Uh Uh-uh. Zena said, uh-uh, I don't like this, this stuff that's going on. I don't know what they got going on. I said, ooh, Zena. See, you can't fool all the people all the time, especially people who had the Democrats back for many decades. A new protective class come in, and it's like, to hell with them people. We got these people. It happens. Well, I hope Killer might stay in his ground. You know what I'm saying? Stand his ground. And he's out and everything else. But I hope he stand his ground. All right. Oh, my gosh. I tell you the truth. Well, thank you, Shirley Miles, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. The thank you video will come out next month. I would just combine two months, January and February, and I can bring it out in May, March. All right. I got busy. And I'm too tired. So make sure y'all watch out for the thank you videos for people who shout out the channel and supported the channel of Spitting Fire. All right. Let's move along. Woo we I don't know why my daughter taught me this. Um, uh, so we talked about that. Let me see. Mm. Um, let me see. Let me see. Am I eh, ba, ba, uh, let me see. Da, da, da. There we go. Okay. The Trial Vlogger Chronicles. All right. The Trial Vlogger Chronicles continues. Okay. The tra- Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. I appreciate it. Trial Vlogger Chronicles continue. Okay. Now, listen is So at the end of the Trial Vlogger Chronicles, right? We had the infamous, right? The infamous trial blogger, the infamous, all right? And and the infamous was in the lead, okay? The last time we checked, the infamous was in the lead against Dennis Byron because she went and visited Ernesto, which your girl predicted would be a, a smart move, right? 
So we got the battles of the trial vloggers, okay? Right? We got the battles of the trial vloggers. And so now, the last time I told you, the infamous went to visit Ernesto. Now, Dennis, before the incident, like, people don't want to hear him. They want to hear the victims. And I came on here and I said, well, no, I had to blog this. No, people want to hear the underdog too. Well, the infamous went to visit, right? The infamous went to visit, uh, what's that boy named Ernesto, right? Chess. It's, the infamous is playing chess. You got one up on Dennis. So they were going back and forth all week. Dennis had Dab Abney on there. Then the infamous went to visit Ernesto. I mean, she she did the Shirley thing, I think. Which, which what clip y'all gave me? Hold on. Let me look at my email. Because I haven't been watching, but I decided to start the, the infamous chronicles between Dennis and, and, and the infamous since they've been going back at it. Okay, I want y'all to see my email. Okay, so she, she um... She went, she went to, to see Shirley, uh, she went on a, uh, uh, what you call that? A, a ride for Shirley, uh, strawberry. And then the infamous, the, the, she had on somebody on this channel that was talking about the YSL. So they've been battling back and forth. Both of these people were covering, uh, Ernesto and YSL and both of them. Now they've been going at it, right? Number saying trial blogging, journalism, it's been going on between the infamous and hip hop inquirer, right? Now, both of them been out there on mainstream media. So you got your girl here trying to figure out the chronicles, right? We done broke this shit down. I told y'all, thank you, Shirley. I told y'all that the infamous was going to make a strategic move. If I knew her for the years that I was talking to her when I was, I knew she was coming back with something. So I said, she's going to come back with something because he was like, the great lady was like, don't nobody want to talk to him. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And it, and it showed the dragon was right. It showed. And the infamous went to see him was a good strategy. Now what we had to do, and figure out what is Dennis move next. Dennis has been silent. We don't know. We don't know what he got up his sleeve. Dennis says he got the experience on the infamous. But the infamous has been making some experience moves. What will take place between these two? Who is going to come out to be the bigger and the trial vlogger? of this YouTube, okay? It's been going down for quite some time. She'll do uh, something big, he'll come back with something big. She'll come back with something big, he'll come back. I mean, they have been going at it right now, right? Now, we know the infamous, you know, we said that the infamous and, 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 and Dennis may have some some rendezvous, right? And I told y'all, I said, oh my God, Sylvia, husband over in Africa, he gonna have to come back and get his woman. Guess what, y'all? She was calling his name. They showed me a clip uh, about a couple hours ago. She was calling his name. I said, Ronald, come back to save the day. Oh, but it was not known if he had little shit shit now. Little shit shit now still left over in Africa. But Ronald probably left a little shit shitting over there because he probably said, that ain't my baby, that's Tasha K, baby. And I was over there trying to help when the infamous was over there and we was trying to help and stuff like that. But I don't know, little shit shitting is just going to have to stay over there in Africa learning different languages and everything and all this and that. However, right, so the infamous made it clear that Ronald is back. Now, now, would Dennis be upset that Ronald is back? Will he? Because remember, he posted where they were looking dolled up and was going out. And is Ronald telling Dennis to stay away from his infamous? This is going to be good, y'all. I'm telling you, this is like as YouTube turns. I mean, oh, my God, this is going to be great. Now, what? Getting back to the professionalism of this, what? strategic moves will Dennis make it's going to be the it's going to be in this ballpark 
She went to visit Ernesto. Dennis has to come back with something. He has to come back with something big on that. And what move would the infamous make if that move is bigger than her meeting with Ernesto? Y'all, your girl done told you it's going down. It's going down with the trial vlogs, and we gonna be here to find out. We gonna look this way, and we gonna look this way, and we gonna find out who is the best trial vlogger. Experience, journalism versus modern day social media. Oh, it's gonna go down. And see, I told you, you can't sit up there and underestimate social media because the what the journalism as we know it hasn't been fair we know that with the r kelly stuff right so would dennis be able to bounce back because you got to remember the lady that he had on there i was like when i did the coverage of that i was like no no that's not that's not right and i was right because infamous had a move in her pocket that he didn't know about that we didn't know about and she bust open that move and showed it. Then it's got to come with something real big. He got to come back with something real big. And we gonna see. Because right now the infamous is playing chess. She ain't playing no checkers. So Dennis, your experience. What is up his sleeve? We gotta stick around and find out. As we sit up here. The trial vlogger versus journalism as YouTube terms. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in. All right. We going to stay tuned to the infamous. Y'all go sit up there because sometimes I don't get a chance to see it in real time. And I know y'all going to give it to me. So make sure y'all email me the next move. And will infamous make another move prior to Dennis making the comeback move on her visiting Ernesto? We don't know. We do not know, but what we will know is we will see. Mm, interesting. And did Ronald come back to keep Dennis away from his infamous? Mm. Mm. I would too. And I'm just finding out. We gonna get to this. I'm trying to tell you, I ain't never known. But then for this, got them fighting over her and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? She said that left breast is something else. Mm -mm -mm. My left breast on gave me some biopsies and all kind of goddamn trouble. Why your breast? Why your left titty couldn't be like the infamous left titty? She got the men fighting all over her on these internet streets. This left titty ain't gave me nothing but a goddamn headache. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. But we gonna find out some things, all right? So we just stay tuned, y'all. We, hey, this day fight, and we just here to see trial vlogger versus experienced journalist. All I'm gonna do is be like this. And then I'm gonna wait on his move. Okay, now, what I will say before I leave here, though, <clears throat> do we need to take credits away from the infamous does the infamous have a team of people helping her behind the scenes and is dennis by himself going up against a team of people we don't know but we will see it will come out in the future trust me all right thank y'all for tuning in to youtube terms we're gonna tr the battle of the trial vloggers versus journalism continues all right talk to y'all later bye